Greetings and welcome back to another edition of Tough Toy Tryouts. I'm Kyle and with me as always is Story, our adorable toy tester. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and set up alerts so you don't miss a thing. This week, we're doing our second comparison video, much like the Nyla Bone Antler Alternative versus the Real Elk Antler episode, which I'll link in the top right corner. This time, we're testing out Nyla Bone's bacon-flavored hoof alternative and seeing how it compares to a real beef hoof. So, what's the specifics of these two toys? Well, the hoof alternative is made from a durable nylon material like all Nylobone products, and like most of their products, it's infused with calcium and minerals you often find in the real thing. It's bacon flavored and has a cavity for filling with a spread of your choosing. What I like to use is a couple teaspoons of coconut oil as it's similar in consistency to peanut butter, but it has so many health benefits such as lauric acid which has antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal properties as well as enhancing digestion and improving skin and coat health. The natural beef hoof is from Red Barn Pet Products and is from the US and is filled with some sort of peanut butter, though I'd like to mention that peanuts are halfway down the ingredients list below corn syrup and sugar. Now that we know what toys we're testing this week, let's see how they hold up after a week's heavy abuse. Well first things first, let me just say, even if your dog doesn't particularly like this Nyla Bone alternative, it sure makes a fantastic shot glass. Hook shots! Ugh. Another one. Hook shots! Another one. Hook shots! Hook shots! <coughs> Another one. <laughs> no more. I'm done. Don't worry, it was just water with the hint of bacon flavor. So, here's the toy after testing. As you can tell, the natural hoof didn't make it out so well, and the Nyla Bone? Well, I'm afraid Story wasn't that interested in it. Usually Nyla Bones start forming small bits of nylon, at which point I take the toy away. This one, not so much. So let's break this down and then do a quick comparison. For safety, the Nyla Bone Hoof Alternative receives a 3, as does most Nyla Bone products on the channel. The reason being that bits of nylon eventually come off of it. This usually isn't an issue unless chunks larger than a grain of rice start forming, which means this toy requires much more monitoring than others. Another issue is the size of the hoof, which may be too small for large dogs over 60 pounds. Story could get this whole thing in her mouth, so I can imagine this being a choking hazard for them. For design, well, it's a hoof, but it has with it all the characteristics of a Nylobone product, so it gets a 4. The fact that it's bacon flavored, has minerals infused, and has a place for spread makes it a pretty well designed product. Sadly, Story wasn't interested in it, but that happens from time to time. Longevity gets a 4. There's no rawhide rings to replace on this toy, but it's definitely smaller than the usual Nylobone product we test, so had Story been interested, this toy definitely would have worn down quicker. That said, Nylobone products do last quite a while, unless they crack, which has yet to happen in our case. And finally we have the price, which at $7.76 on Chewy is an alright deal giving this a 3. The fact is, this is actually overpriced based on other Nylobone products, which average around $3 to $6 with a few that break the $10 barrier. So, not even needing a calculator, because I'm that good, I can give this toy a final verdict of 3.5 out of 5 bones. A decent effort, but it fell a bit short this week, and I likely would never recommend this one. There's simply better options out there. As for the natural hoof, it would probably be around a 2 bone score, but I can tell you right now that I would never recommend it. I was hesitant to even test a hoof after reading about them, but we took the risk. The hoof fractured several times, which I quickly picked up, but it's a very risky chew toy. Plus, there's a risk of fracturing your dog's teeth. It's just not worth it. And here's where we end this week's episode. Before you head out, be sure to hit that like button for us, and while you're down there, let us know of any toys you'd like to see Story try out on a future episode. Also, leave any questions you might have about Story, testing toys, or whatever else, and we'll probably start doing a Q&A. You can ask them here or on social media with the hashtag AskTTT. Until next time, have a fantastic week and thanks for watching.